Most things in nature are matte, wood, rocks, leather, so it makes sense to develop coatings that protect those surfaces with a similar appearance. We can maintain that natural look with matting agents, and that's what this short course is all about. First, we'll review the science of optics to explain light reflection, specular, diffuse, transmittance, absorbance, and refractive index. They all affect our perception of gloss and clarity. There's a host of jargon when it comes to gloss. Is it high gloss, semi-gloss, satin, eggshell, matte, flat? The effectiveness of matting agents depends on a lot of parameters, including particle size, pore volume, concentration, and particle size distribution to ensure a uniform appearance from one area of the substrate to the next. We'll review different types of matting agents, natural, synthetic, organic, inorganic, including calcium carbonate, silica gel, precipitated silica, and fumed silica. It would be nice to understand how these products are produced, most of which starts with good old-fashioned sand, silicon dioxide, or silica. And, depending on the angle we view the paint or coating, we may perceive different gloss levels, flop or sheen. So, our course on matting agents won't be dull, and I'll try not to gloss over this very important specialty additive for paints and coatings. Mm -hmm.